Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I am going to go and see Mrs Doubtfire at the Opera House and I'm really excited. Obviously it's a new musical, it's its premiere in the UK and I'm really excited to see it. I am sat in the circle I think. Yeah, I am sat in the circle, row Q, seat 38. So I don't think that's an end of row, I think I'm two in something like that I'll find out when I get there can't remember when I've purchased it but I only paid 13 half my ticket I think it might be a restricted view I'm not sure we'll see when I get there and I'll show you what my view is like um but yeah I only paid 13 half for the ticket and I'm just really looking forward to the show I'm going to the matinee so it starts at half two it's currently just come up to one so I need to leave in about 15 minutes and yeah, I'm really excited for this show. So obviously I'll show you any merch that they have. I'll probably pick up a program, maybe a magnet. And yeah, I'll take you along with me and I'll show you show you around. So hope you enjoy this little thing. I'm just at the tram station now. The tram's due in just one minute. So perfect time. It should be here any minute now. So I've just arrived at the theatre now, it's just here behind me. I think it's about o'clock now, so I've got plenty of time before it starts. So yeah, I'm gonna go head in now and I'll show you around. I'm just inside the fish now, just on the circle level, and I'm just about to go and find my seat, so I think I'm on row queue. So let's go and find my seat. 
Okay, so here's my ticket. So I'm on row Q seat 20. <laughs> Yes, I'm on the back row of the circle, just here, row in seat 20, so I'm just in my seat now, this is the view from my seat, so it's not too bad, so you do have a bit of a overhang from the um, upper tier, but it's not too bad. So this is the leg room in this seat, there's actually loads of leg room in, in this seat. So I think the show is about starting about 15 minutes, so... I'll get back to you now at the interval. So it is now the interval and the show is really, really good. Really, really enjoying it. Um, it's been really, really well cast. Um, obviously, I'll let you know more about it once I get home, but so far it's really, really good. the next day I didn't have time to review the show last night because my children were still awake I had to get them to sleep um, but the show was excellent I really really enjoyed it like I said I was in the circle I was on row Q which is the very back row of the circle I was in seat number 20 and the view was excellent from there and I only paid 13 pounds for that ticket there was no obstructive view there was a bit of an overhang from the grand tier but there was nothing high up in this musical so you didn't miss anything because there was nothing up there so it was like it was a perfect view I thought for the price 13 pounds and I thought my view was excellent so I was really happy with my seat and there was also lots of leg room in those seats so there was plenty of leg room as well so they were really good seats um merch wise it was quite a lot of merch for the show I think they had three different t-shirts I don't think they had a hoodie I think they were just t-shirts from what I remember I don't think they had any hoodies um they had a pin they had a badge set they had a magnet they had a mug they had a tumbler, they had a tote bag, they had a pin badge, um, and they had a souvenir brochure, which I'm, I'm wishing I got the souvenir brochure now instead of the house programme, uh, because it's not that much in the ho house programme. Um, 
And I think, well, how much was the brochure? This evening the brochure was ten pounds. It was double the price of the house program. The house program was only five pounds. So mm, maybe I should. Yeah, maybe I made the right choice because ten pounds is quite expensive. So yeah, there was quite a bit of merch. I think I did film it, and I think I filmed the price list as well. So hopefully that should have been in the vlog. Like I said, I did purchase the house program, which was five pounds. And I also purchased the magnet, which was seven pounds. There we go. This is help is on the way, dear. So yeah, picked that one up to add to my magnet collection. And there we go. So if you're not familiar with the story of Mrs. Doubtfire, I don't know many people that aren't. Just in case you aren't, what the story is about is it's about a man who who divorces from his wife, only gets visitation with his children once a week and he wants to see them more and and the wife ends up looking for a nanny for the children and he decides he wants to apply for the job um, but he needs to become a woman to do it so he enlists the help of his brother who's a makeup artist to help him become a woman and he dresses up as Mrs. Doubtfire so he can be the nanny to his children and yeah that is the basic basics of the story. Obviously musical has come from the film Mrs. Doubtfire which is hugely popular. Uh, it starred Robin Williams in and yeah it's big shoes to fill because obviously Robin, Robin Williams was iconic in that role so it is, it is um, big shoes to fill but Gabriel Vick, who plays Daniel Hilliard, who is Mrs. Doubtfire, I thought was excellent. I thought he was absolutely amazing in the role. I've really enjoyed his performance as Mrs. Doubtfire. I think he's been perfectly cast for this role. Um, yeah, he was just excellent. In fact, the whole show has been perfectly cast. Everyone in this show is absolutely perfect for, the, for their roles. I thought they were all excellent. Um, can't recommend the show enough. I just really enjoyed it. It was a really good show. I, I thought it was so good that I've bought my dad tickets for his birthday to go and see it. It's his 70th birthday today and for his present I bought him tickets to see it. I actually bought them last night because um, I thought he would really love it. So I bought tickets for him and my mum to go and see the show because I just think they'll love it. I have to say though none of the songs really stood out to me in the show. There's none of the songs which I thought, oh, I need to go and listen to that. I need a soundtrack on that. The songs were all right. They, fa they fit in very well with the story. But there was no big numbers that, like, stood out for me. They, they were quite forgettable. In fact, I can't really remember that many of the songs from it. So, yeah, there wasn't too many standout songs. I think my favourite song probably was... Um, what the Hell, which was sung by the children. I really like that one. I did also like Make Me A Woman. I thought that one was quite good as well. And uh, Rocking Now, that was another one that I enjoyed. So I did enjoy a few of the songs, but it's, they weren't songs that would make me rush out and buy the album. Um, but yeah, they were, they were enjoyable and they worked with the show, but not ones that would make me go and rush out to buy the album and listen to it again and again. Okay, so now I'll show you the program and um, go through the cast. Okay, so this is the front of the program. As usual, you have some information of upcoming shows. You have a bit, a bit, bit of information on the Opera House. Adverts for some upcoming shows. And then you get on to Mrs. Doubtfire information. So this is the cast biographies. So playing Daniel Hillard, who is obviously Mrs. Doubtfire, is Gabriel Vick. And as I said, he was excellent in this role. He was absolutely amazing. He was perfectly cast for this role. He did it really well. Can't fault him at all. So he's been in quite a few theatre things. He's been in Can I Help You, uh, Little Miss Sunshine, Sunny Afternoon. So yeah, lots of different things. He's been in some film and TV things as well. Then playing Miranda Hillard, who again, I thought was really, really good. Loved her voice. Uh, thought she was excellent. Um, she's been in things like School of Rock, Fiddle on the Roof, Into the Woods, um, 
yeah, quite a few things. She's done some concert and some television as well. So she's been in quite a lot. And I have to say, yeah, one thing that was different in this than the movie was that she was a uh, fashion designer. That was her job. Um, definitely wasn't her job in the in the movie, but in this, they made her into a fashion designer. So next, we have Carla Dixon Hernandez. She played Lydia Hillard, who is the oldest daughter of Daniel and Miranda, and her voice was amazing. I loved her voice. Um, absolutely loved it i thought she was great her acting was brilliant as well as lydia um but her voice was really good i really liked her voice so yeah she was excellent in the part of lydia then we had cameron blakely as frank hillard who is um daniel's brother and i thought he was really funny he was really funny in this role um obviously he is a makeup artist and he's the one that makes um daniel into mrs doubtfire um, but yeah, loved his take on the character. Then we had Marcus Collins, who played Andre, who is Daniel's brother's um, partner. And yeah, he was he was really funny as well. I thought he was great. They made a great um, comedy duo. He's been in a few things like Kinky Boots, Hairspray choir of man so yeah he's done quite a few things then we had dominic anderson as stuart and stuart is miranda's love interest i think he had one song in the show um and he yeah he was good then we had vanessa fisher playing wanda selner and she is it's like a welfare officer who um checks on Daniel to make sure he's doing everything he needs to do in order to get custody of the children and yeah she was really good and she had I think she was in one one or two songs and she had a really good strong voice I really liked her voice as well Ian Talbot played Mr Jolly Aisha Naomi Peace uh, she played Janet Lundy and it was on the and the ensemble. Lisa Matheson was the flamenco singer and the ensemble. Then we have the children that play uh, Christopher Hillard. So there's a couple. There's George Nern Stewart. He wasn't on when I went to see it. We had this uh, this boy, Charlie Tunbridge. He was on for our performance and he was great. I thought he was really, really good. Um, he was really good as Christopher Hillard. And then there's a few girls that play Natalie Hillard. There's Jessica Bowman, Darcy Dean and Angelica Pearl Scott. And we had Angelica on ours and she was super cute. She played, she was so good in the role. Really, really cute little girl. And then Aidan O'Neill is the standby Daniel Hillard. So obviously I didn't get to see him. Um, so then after that we've got the musical numbers. So here we've got the musical numbers. So Act 1 is That's Daniel. And I actually quite like that song actually. That was quite a good song, That's Daniel. Um, I Want To Be There was, okay, was an okay song. Try Harder, Make Me A Woman was a good one. What the Hell was my favourite song, I think, in the show. Mr Jolly's So Tune theme. Mr Jolly Goodbye song. Easy Peasy. It's About Time. I'm Rocking Now, that was another good one. Uh, the Shape of Things to Come. Big Fat No. Let Go. Uh, that was quite a good one, actually, that Miranda sang. Let Go. Clean Up This Mess slash What the Hell Reprise. Um, you've been playing with fire. He lied to me. Just pretend and as long as there is love. So those are all the musical numbers in the show. And here you've got your cast list. Ensemble, your swings, 
the understudies. Now, I don't think there was any understudies on for this show. It was all the principal actors. And then you've got your creative team here and you've got your band. And then here you've got your ensemble biographies. Quite a big ensemble. And also your swings as well. And then you've got some information about the creatives, which is a few pages. Uh, credits and thanks. And that is it. So there's no articles in here about the show or anything like that. Sometimes you get articles. It is, again, just your basic programme where you've just literally got the cast biographies and that's it, which is a shame. Um, I do like it when there's a few articles in there to read. But yeah, this one is just your cast biography. So yeah, I definitely recommend it, Mrs. Doubtfire, the musical. It was very good, very fun. Um, especially if you love the film, I think you will love this. It's got some of the iconic lines in there from the film. It's definitely still got the heart from the film as well. Um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was such a good, a really good show. If you do want to see the musical, it is on at the Mansion Opera House, I think, till the 1st of October. Um, and then it is hoping to go to the West End. Um, so yeah, if you can get to see it while it's at the Opera House, do. Um, I think there's still lots of tickets left. Uh, the prices range from £13 upwards, so you can get affordable seats. Like I said, I only paid £13 for my ticket and my view was excellent. Uh, it was really, really good. In fact, I'd love to go again. If I'd get the chance, I would like to maybe go and see it again. Um, I'll have to see. I'm hoping maybe sometimes they do reduce the single seat tickets down to around £20 at some shows. Um, I have looked at this show and they seem to have reduced them to £30, which is a bit still a bit too much for me. So I'm going to keep my eye on it. If they go down to £20, I can sit near the front for £20 and I will probably go again. So I'm going to look because I would love to see this again before, before it leaves and goes to the West End. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend the show. Definitely try and see it if you can. I'll leave all the information about it down below. I'll link to the Mrs. Doubtfire website and I'll also link um, to the ATG where you can buy tickets for the show. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. Um, if you do enjoy theatre vlogs, I do do a lot of these on my channel. Um, I will be seeing Dream Girls next week. So if you would be interested in seeing a vlog for that, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified once that goes up. So yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.